I go to the movies. Yeah. It's something I like to do, as you know, because you watch all my videos. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, so I, I go to the local art house uh, ragtag cinemas. And I saw the movie. It, uh, it was called Murphy. And, uh, yeah. So, when I saw the trailers for this, I thought that, uh, it was about, you know, uh, uh, a gay guy in World War II or something. But, I was wrong. It was not World War II at all. It, it seems to be some sort of conflict in, uh, South Africa during the apartheid. So that's interesting, because I basically know absolutely nothing about that, except for Nelson Mandela was in jail, and then he became president. And they had the Commission for Reconciliation or something, and Forgiveness. And Trevor Noah was born there. <laughs> and now he hosts The Daily Show. <laughs> so that's all I know about the apartheid. So, yeah. But, uh... But it is about a, a homosexual uh, early 20-somethings, late teens. I was a little unsure about that. It was uh, basically everybody has to do military service. You get conscripted and you, you do your time in the military. You know, I think Israel does something like that too. But anyway, they don't have a voluntary... Volun the voluntary... Volunteer? military <laughs> uh, I'm sure some people are career military over there or were but you know basically everybody has to go there so that's the kid he doesn't necessarily want to go you know he isn't going to fit in and uh, so basically uh, I found the movie interesting you know, the different things, you know, because you got to you got to hide the fact that you're you're gay or else, you know, they they beat you up and they put you in the insane asylum because you're sick in the head or something. It's pre it's messed up, you know, but we all know homophobia like that exists and stuff like that. So. But. You know, and it's like, so he's gay, he's got to hide it, there are other gay people there, that it becomes obvious that there are consequences to people finding out, you know, and uh, kind of starts, he catches the feelings, you know, and that sort of thing. And I mean, the depictions of racism are pretty... Horrendous also, you know, as you would expect in the apartheid South Africa. Everything I've heard about that is just, just awful. <laughs> but, yeah, so, but it is interesting. That the only thing I've ever heard was from uh, the, that, the indigenous African side, or whatever, not the oppressing, colonizing European side. <laughs> not that they <laughs> they have any moral ground to stand on with any of that, but it's just kind of like, oh yeah, you know, these are people. They just happen to be born onto their side, you know, like this kid. He didn't. He wasn't a colonizer. His parents, you know, he's just he's just there. <laughs> it's not his fault. But, and then, you know, you hear the rhetoric, and I don't know how authentic it is, but there's, like, rhetoric, rhetoric like that that you hear from white supremacists in the States and stuff like that, you know, but you do it because you love your country and you love your race and all that sort of stuff, and being gay is bad and all that, that old chestnut but, uh, I thought the movie was done 
good, you know? It was shot well, that sort of stuff. I, it's one of those things where you try to empathize, but I, 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 I couldn't relate at all, you know? But it's like, man, that had to suck. But I, you know, I bet there's some people, you know, who grew up in situations here in the States where they felt like they couldn't come out and stuff like that. And this movie's really gonna, you know, tug at the, at the old heartstrings, that sort of thing. I can understand how it'll be that way for some people. But it was just, uh, it was a well-made movie. It felt kind of depressing, I guess. Which, I mean, uh, you didn't think it was going to be the feel-good, happy-go-lucky <laughs> sort of movie. But, yeah. Then, and, you know, just the, the way they treated, which, you know... The whole drill sergeant, you know, you got to whip these people, especially, I imagine, in a situation where the people don't want to be there at all, where they're conscripted or drafted or, you know, that sort of thing. I'm sure the drill instructors have to be even more harsh to really beat the people into submission to get them to be where they need to be to do what they're going to be asked to do, that sort of thing. But it, it really was, you know, some of the the depictions of racism and and all that, it really is like, made me feel real queasy, you know? It's just real sickening. All of it. But. And then, you know, I don't want to do the spoilers, but it was a ragtag movie. So the movie doesn't wrap up in a nice, neat Hollywood bow. As most ragtag movies. <laughs> it's just the movie's going along and then there's credits. <laughs> ah, it, it really does kill me that every ragtag movie, every movie I go see with ragtag does that. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, Mophie. You might. You might like it. I mean, it was a good movie. You know, it was well done. It's kind of like... A, there's a lot of subtitles and, you know, the... There's some, like, English words you could pick up, but... <laughs> it's kind of all over the place, but... Yeah, so... Anyway. Mixing a bunch of different languages and stuff. But, you know... I didn't mind. I was able to follow. And, you know, if you want to see a movie about, you know, homophobia and racism and people being abused by, in and by the military, <laughs> if you want to see a movie like that, this is your movie. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Mophie. It exists. <laughs>